Oh, this was so close to being a great movie. Oh my gosh, so close. But the director, uh, is Adam McKay. He, he just couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle the power. He couldn't do the subtleties. He just had to go bananas the second half of the film. If you get an insult, you get an insult. You get an insult. You get an insult. Don't look up. It's been a movie that's been uh, kind of popular recently. Um, it hasn't been too well received from critics. Audiences have received it a little bit better, surprisingly. This will be the first time I'll agree a little bit more with the critics. The audience has kind of received it better, but let's dive in a little bit deep into it. So, you know, okay, this is PhD student and um, her professor, she finds that a meteor is going to come that can basically do what they did to the dinosaurs, destroy everything. She and the professor are trying to tell people to find a way to stop it, you know? Because so they try to go to the president, to go to the media, and of course, since this is a bit of a satirical film, they do it in the ways that, the worst ways possible. Like, they always say like media training. Like if you go on, let's say Good Morning America, you're not gonna go and start screeching at the top of your lung, jumping up and down and be like, oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Yeah, because then everyone thinks you're a crackpot. And of course, that's exactly what they did. <laughs> I think, you know, the first half of this movie, really, it really had potential, you know? They were calling out a lot of stupid stuff in the government, like, you know, and the media. And like, it, it, was, it, was, it was a little bit funny at first. Like, it showed a lot of inconsistencies. Like, this movie is obviously, like, pointed towards real life society. They point towards the climate crisis that some people believe is more of a crisis than others, but it really misses its mark in the second half when they, it really just becomes a propaganda film. Intentionally trying to, because there's a difference between being satirical and just being insulting on purpose. Like, the first half of the movie was great. Not perfect, not stupendous. Like, you would put it like at a seven. If, you, if, if the first half was how the second half was, if the first half continued into the second half, I mean, it would have been a 7.5, a 7 out of 10 movie. But afterwards, they just started attacking any groups they wanted. When you attack everyone, no one likes you. I'm sorry. If you, except your own group, of course. And this is like, because they attacked liberals, they attacked the media, they attacked like the FBI, they attacked the feds, they attacked like, uh, they attacked conservatives, and they attacked on um, like, everything under the sun but of course their little subsection because the Ad adam mckay is like progressive liberal those were the good people there were always the good people there were always the good thing no moderate liberals no they'll suck no the media like media you're trash too like nothing like you can't like if you if, the progressive liberal wing is a subsection of the larger democratic party so I don't think it's beneficial if you're trying to get people to change their mind to one completely trash the conservative party because it's um not if you if you want someone to agree with you do you insult them to their face no and then they trash their own liberal liberal democrats like moderate democrats regular democrats to a lesser extent but still felt Probably why the critics didn't like it. No, the critics didn't like it because they attacked the media, honestly. And they are kind of like the media. And they attack, like, critics. So yeah, when you attack your critics, don't expect them to be favorable unless you do it very, very well. But no. Continuing on, the, the whole movie is them just trying to figure out how to, um, give it. And they, they like, they find out pretty fast. They, like, I don't even know. It's just so many, I can't even list all the groups they attack, like. I don't, I don't like the elitism that this film tries to portray as like only one perspective is right. Not even a slight deviation. If you have a slight, if you, have a, if you agree with the message, but you have maybe a slight deviation, destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. And I'm like, that's, that doesn't do anything because he said he made this movie in regards to the like climate crisis that he was saying about. So if it's trying to convince people about that. Obviously, it's still a movie and not exactly what's happening. So, he just needs to portray it a little bit 
nicer. Like, people, are, you have to understand when people watch something. If I'm a guitarist and I go watch a movie about guitars, let's say violins, if you're trying to convince me to play the violin, you're not gonna say, oh, all guitarists are trash, they can't play music, like, what are they even doing with their lives? Like, they're so stupid. Like, no, that's not how you change minds. Ugh. And overall, just in the second half, without spoiling, it's hard to say why it flopped without spoiling darts, but it's just like, let's just say, you know when the second half is, it starts to get down, it starts to, instead of being witty, it just becomes offensive, which I don't, which is not, is not funny. Like, it's not the whole movie, this is a comedy disaster movie. I think I chuckled a few times in the first half. In the second half, I like laughed like, not at all. Like even in the stereotypically slapstick funny scenes, like, no, it wasn't funny. It was just like, ugh. so yeah, 5.5 out of 10, 5.5 out of 10. It was actually kind of around with what the critics were giving it, like a 55%. Had potential, really did. But he just falls flat, tried to make too many messages, he tried to put too many messages, and he tried to make like a savior complex. Sometimes people who do things like this, when they feel they are right, they feel like they are entitled to destroy the people, destroy what they view as evil. And I think, um, Sadhguru said that, Sadhguru said that, and that's what this director is doing, except that he failed. Oops. Well, I'll see you in the next one.